David, do you think... Do you think GTA 6 is gonna live up to the hype? Oh, I... You know, it, it's... It's been almost... Like, um... Ten years since the last Grand Theft Auto, so there's... there's a lot of... A lot of pressure on them. I mean, that, that last trailer was something... I mean, yeah, that last trailer looked too good to be true. You know, I was like, hey, is this shit real? Like, that shit, I don't know. I mean, you know, we, we, we did watch some YouTube videos with that former Rockstar developer was like, oh, oh this is real, this is in-game. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, this is, what we saw is not current gen. I mean, it's got, it has to come out current gen. I mean, we already talking about next gen. That shit, I might just wait for next gen. I, I got that, like, that, that shit ain't gonna be as good as this gen, probably better next gen. That's a possibility. I see that. I see that. I'll tell, tell you one thing. They better have. They have so many big ass asses in there. I better, better be able to twerk as my character. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, the emotes and dancings are popular, so yeah, there'd probably be like a twerking contest or something. I better be able to twerk. I wanna twerk up as I made shot up and chase up by the cop. All right. You, you can't show me all these twerkings and you don't let me twerk. All right. All right. But I mean, you do play a female. Oh yeah, that's fucking crazy. Like, can she hook up with, with girls or dudes? Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, she she has a, her her spouse there, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see there. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, all right. Jeez, I hope it's, this is not not a setup. I'm fucking strapped. I'll tell you right now, I'm popping off. This motherfucker tries to do it there. I ain't getting shot again. Yeah, I got stabbed last time, so I don't know about getting shot either. All right, so just be a, um, give me my gun. I'm holding your gun so you don't shoot a kid or something. Who the hell is that? Is that a fucking dog in a trench coat? Hey boys, come over here. Is that Scruff McGruff? Holy hell. I think he wants us to go over there. Yeah, right, let's see. Oh my god, I can't believe he's really you, Scruff McGruff. I can't believe you're fucking real. What the fuck? You, 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 you look horrified. How, how are you allowing your children? Shh, Dan, it's such a huge honor to meet you, sir. I always listen to your advice to, to stay away from the strangers and not do drugs. No, he does all the drugs and hangs up, talks to all the strangers. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you boys, too. I'm glad my messaging still rings true to this day, David. But I, I don't think you should keep doing drugs. Drugs are bad. What can we help you with, Scruff McGruff? I understand you boys are part of the Grammy Crime Department. Been looking into these one-up drugs, right? Yeah, we have been looking into the one-up drugs when we can. We got we got we got a lot of gaming really crimes on our files. We even got a, a gaming serial killer, Mr. Game Over. Have you heard of anything about him? No, I haven't heard anything about this serial killer. I'm all about the drugs and keeping the drugs away from the youth. That's more important now, David and Xander, God damn it! Yeah, sure. I, I, give us more fucking homework, stuff, Mika. Like we got. You know, it's only us two in the department and everyone else thinks we're gonna fucking jump. I mean, last week we both fucking died, but yeah, 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 give, give us some more shit, God damn it! Listen, David Xander, I've been looking into this for a while now. I'm trying to find out the source of these one-up drugs. I went to Nintendo first, and apparently they trademarked the one-up drugs, but they're not the ones making it. But they are probably in cahoots with the manufacturer. And the manufacturer company, from what I understand, has keep changing their name. It always has to do with raincoat products or something, rain protective products. You can't seem to lock down a name on them. They keep changing it before I get the scent. I guess we gotta look into who, who, who's making these drugs. You say they have something to do with raincoats or, or rain gear? Now they changed their name? Okay. I have a file here, boys, for someone who may have worked with the company. We may be able to lock down with the origin of these drugs, and it also shows the horrifying side effects. Serious, smells like fucking piss. I thought you had to throw it in the fucking ground. But shh, down there. Listen, we'll, we'll look into this when we get back to the office. Thank, thank you, Scruff and Gruff. We, we appreciate any and all your help on this. You're a real, you're a real I, hero and icon and role model to the children. All right, I mean, we're in the dark alley, David. You can get on his on your knees and, and give him that good old suck. Oh my gosh, Chandler. Oh, you two are salt and pepper if I ever saw one. 
Listen, David Zander, be careful who you trust and who you talk to about these. This goes deep. Might even go to the goddamn Congress. These one-up drugs may be a way of controlling the population or destroying it. Hell, they might even be a foreign power. I understand, Scruff. Mum's the word. We'll, we'll reach out to you, or I guess we'll wait for you to reach out to us when you can. All right, David and Xander, it was good talking to you. But we shouldn't be seen together, and we gotta be careful. So I'll be in contact, and you guys let me know what you find out. Thank you, Scruff. We'll, we'll get out of here. And you remember, stay boys, safe, right? keep your noises clean <laughs> and take a bite you out sure of the crowd. Why does he say that? It's a fucking weird thing to say. I'm gonna take a bite out of the crowd. It's gross.